Hiya, and welcome to Kiki vs. IT. Oh, Toto. Oh, Toto. Oh, Toto. I think that's how you say it. Today we're going to be playing with the Oh, Toto. I don't know why I want to say it like that. It is a little device, sort of like you might have seen in one of my other videos. It's a little bit like the Mickey Mickey, I think. Uh, I haven't played with it yet. This is actually a challenge to me from the guys and gal over at Elm Robotics, maker of Loggerbot. They do a podcast, which is available on iTunes and more. I'll put all that information in the description below. When I was doing their podcast, they provided me with this and challenged me to figure out how to use it. And so I said, awesome, let's go. And now I'm actually getting around to filming a video where I'm going to do that. So uh, I'm going to bring you over here and we're going to get our hands messy probably only metaphorically. I will link the website below if you're interested in getting your own Ototo and following along with me. So, oh, here we go. Uh, this is the Ototo and I'm going to be using the Ototo together with the Circuit Scribe today. Uh, you might remember my video that I did on Circuit Scribe and how much I loved it and I've been looking for ways to use it ever since. I really like literally don't know. I can't even. So yeah there's that. On the side we have kind of your usual suspects. You have a switch and a USB port. I'm guessing that's to attach it to a computer. Uh, and then you have this side here. And you got these little guys, which look very circuit scribey. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just put this stuff back real quick while I go get my machine because I forgot to bring my computer out here. Okay, so a couple of things that apparently this was supposed to come with that it didn't because I'm uh, kind of open boxing it was, it's supposed to come with a guide. Uh, it's a colored easy start guide. So you have some first projects to kind of get started with. But what would be the challenge in that? Right, Mark? So there is no guide in this one. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and feel my way through this. Uh, also batteries. I went in and grabbed some of those. And then a USB cable because there is a place to connect it to your computer and uh, I didn't have a cable to do that with. So, now that I have all of this stuff here, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put the batteries in the Ototo. Uh, you see there's the slot for the batteries right there, or apparently I'm going to push it in right there, and then I'm going to push this one in right there and these seem to be in series where the positive lines up to the negative instead of um, opposites from each other they're both facing the same way so now I have this all batteried up um, I have what appears to be a sound dial I don't know how much I need to begin with I don't have a lot of information here so I am going to click the reset button Upon further research, I was making it too hard, which I generally do. <laughs> Apparently you can use just the board uh, with your items and make sound. So it's an on-board keyboard. Uh, I don't see a green light and in the videos I did, so I'm going to mess with these knobs a little bit, see if I can figure out how to turn this thing on. These ups and downs, they actually cycle through different instrument sounds. So that's what those do. They are not volume. Uh, I'm gonna just make sure I have the batteries in the right way round. Plus to plus, minus to minus. Plus to plus and minus to minus. I do indeed. There is an audio out jack for headphones over here. Ha, that little switch I was messing with. That was the power. 
So I've just turned it on. Huh? Yeah? So really, just as it is, it's a functioning musical instrument. So now I'm going to play with it a little bit and we are going to not need this for what we're doing today. Uh, I am going to just come in here and zoom in a bit. And I'm guessing this is volume. Yep. Sounds right. Okay. So now I'm going to use, I think I'm going to get rid of those too. I'm just going to do a nice simple challenge and I'm going to use my clips. And I'm going to challenge number one, untangling the clips. Ten days later. Okay, so I'm going to start by just clipping this to this right there. And then I should be able to just touch it. I don't know why it's not working. So this key, when I touch it, it works. So I should be able to stick the clips in and it should work when I touch the other end of the clip, but it doesn't. Oddly, it works if I just touch this to it. without any other electricity going through. So I'm holding the rubber part and just touching the metal is working. That feels weird to me. So it's not working here, but if I do that, suddenly it works. Um, I'm kind of at a loss here. Now, I noticed that, okay. So this looks like a power button and this looks like a button that lights up when the conductivity works. Here's what I figured out. Uh, just by debugging process, because this stuff never seems to go super well for me, you notice that when it's just resting and it's on, it's got this light here. So it's got a little light right over here. When you touch one of the keys, the light right beside it lights up. And that light shows you something is conducting. Now, if I clip this alligator clip to this guy here, there we go. Notice how that's staying lit. That's not supposed to happen. So it's telling me that something conductive is going on. It is essentially seeing this as the same key press as before. So it's not going to press anything else. Apparently you need to do all this with it off and then turn it on to kind of give it a baseline. I think that's a bug but maybe it's just the way it's supposed to work. In any case, I've taken it and I've hooked up the leads to three different areas. I've spread them apart so that you can get a real difference of sound so we can tell that it's making three different sounds. And then in order to keep them straight, I have put the other end of the alligator clips on this box and this isn't to be confused with actually having some cool something else conduct your electricity this is a place to hold everything and I'll just touch it with my fingers to make the sound so now I'm gonna go ahead and turn this guy on and we're gonna pray that only that light turns on all right so we look to be in a good place Yay! Celebrate! Okay, so that worked, which means 
we can finally do something fun with this. Okay, I think I figured out kind of a neat first step. So I'm going to play Mary Had a Little Lamb, or at least the first part, and that goes... So for the purposes of my keyboard, I'm going to call this 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, 3, 3. And I have that written down here. 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, 3, 3. I wrote it in silver. So it's important, obviously. Uh, but then I realized that I don't want the leads directly up here because then the three is going to have to be connected to places like this. And it's going to be easier if I draw those connections together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have three leads up here and then I'm going to have the buttons to push down here and have those lead up to here that is going to be connected to the board. So I'm going to turn the board off, conserve battery while I'm creating this, but also because I want to have the baseline of where the conductivity is happen once all this is connected up. So for now, I'm just going to color in my leads. So this one is going to be one, and I'll make sure that's nice and filled in. This guy's going to be two, and this guy's going to be three. Now I'm going to have dots down here. I'm going to have a three dot, a two dot, a one, three, two, one, two, three, three, three. Now all of the threes need to be connected together and need to be connected to this. The twos need to be connected together and connected to this, and the ones need to be just connected to this. There's only one one. I'm going to do this guy first and connect it straight up here. I can do that with silver, or I can just take my tape and connect it with tape to save on the silver which is, I think, what I'm going to do in this case. Now, with the twos, the twos need to go to the two, so I'm going to draw the twos to the two from up here, and then I need to connect them together. So I'm just going to kind of do this to make sure that my twos are connected. Now with the three, I'm going to go ahead and make a three here. Now you notice there's lots of threes. We need to connect them all together. I kind of want to save on silver. It's not uh, flowing as beautifully as I'm used to anyway because it's freezing out here. I'm going to take some copper. And then I'm going to do three pieces, one to here, one to here, and one to here. And they'll all come down to here, and they'll all go up to here, which should all lead back to the board. There we go. Then I'm going to take my alligator clips, and I'm going to get those set up. So my one. And here's my two. And here's a three. Now I should be able to just run my finger over the buttons in sequence and play the first part of Mary Had a Little Lamb. I'm going to turn this on. Oh, this one's not working so well. Okay, so only this one doesn't seem to be working. This one's working fine. So let's, oh look. So it breaks somewhere in here. So I'm going to shore it up with a little bit of conductive tape. Alright, so now I should be able to get three, two, one, two, three, three, three from these respective buttons. And here we go. Ah, it worked. Okay, so Ready? I've got my fruit and we are gonna use this for our 
Mary had a little lamb. Oh, the orange smells so good. So <laughs> this is going to be my three, my two, and my one. I'm going to plug the grape in uh, first here and set that down. And then I'm going to plug in my orange. And there's that one. And finally, I will plug in my apple. And that's going to be the three. And now I'm going to see how it works. Here we go. Oh gosh, that was fun. Okay, so now there's all my dangling fruit and my piano. And that is how you play Mary Had a Little Lamb on a fruit salad. Please like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this. If you want a sneak peek of what's coming up next, you can follow me on these social networking sites.